โอ้โอ้ What's going on, y'all? It is your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for our favorite review of Catfish. This is season eight, episode seven. Danielle and BJ, y'all. Before we get into this review, let me get these church announcements. Let me get the godly stuff out the way, y'all. Before we get into this review, as always, church announcements. If you ain't done so just yet and subscribe to my channel, I don't know what the hell you waiting on. Um, before you leave, let me know that you stop by. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. Y'all look at here, look at here, look at goddamn here. First of all, okay, we got the church announced. We got godly stuff out the way. Let me let y'all know right now. Let me get this parental advisory out the way. I'm fit I'm to be cursing. Because goddamn it, this review pissed me off. It's a lot of shit about this goddamn review to piss me off. So my parental advisory right now, if you don't want to hear a lot of goddamn cursing, then you might want to go ahead and click the hell on up off this shit right goddamn now. Now, we got that on out the way. First of all, let me get another thing out the way. Um, these are still church announcements that I'm doing. Um, yes, God is, 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 is all up in here. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I'm a sinner who probably going to sin again, and the Lord still forgives me. Um, Dion the Demon. If y'all don't know who Dion the Demon is, um, you you must be new to my channel. Let me tell y'all who he is. He is some nigga out there who is catfishing me right now. And see, I've been trying to like keep it cool with you or whatever, dude. Because you probably watching this. Well, I know you do watch this, so I know you probably watching this right now. Hey, nigga, what's up? Yes, I did block your ass. Um, So don't be going to other people asking them, why the hell am I not on this and this and this no more look at nigga like i told you last time in the video i don't know who you is i don't know if you one of these catfishers out here that done tried to catfish somebody else and you got your ass out of on catfish and now you trying to get me caught up in some bullshit look here i don't know you don't be sending shit to nobody looking for me because I ain't looking for you. I don't know what the hell you looking for. But nigga, don't come looking around here now. Because you're lying to creep up on something. Boy. A girl. Whoever you is, I don't goddamn discriminate. Just know. I'm from Texas. We got the right to bear arms. And I protect mine at all times. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to go ahead and get into this review because it was a whole lot more fuckery in this review. Y'all, look here. I'm fit to be cursing. This nigga in this pissed me off. He pissed your auntie off, y'all. So go ahead and get you a little old drink. Y'all done said before in my, down in my comments, it's like you sitting down talking with your homegirl. We watching something. Well, bitch, I got something to tell you. Bitch, let me tell you about what this nigga had did. I hope you ready for this girl because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get right on up into it. All right, so girl, look. Neve even Tammy ended up getting the old school letter. Homegirl threw it back, way back, from the 99 to the 2000 back, bitch. She wrote a letter into Neve and Cammy. She said, no, I wanted you bitches to notice me, know that I'm for real. I got some real shit going on I need to tell y'all. I need y'all to help my homegirl out. It's this letter from this chick named Dominique, right? She wrote into them, was like, look here. My homegirl, Danielle, been talking to this nigga named BJ from South Carolina for the last six years. She ain't met this nigga. She done flew down to where he is three different times and this nigga done ghosted on her ass all three times. Neve said, she bitch, she did. What? Uh, Dominique was like, yes, the bitch did. Spent her own money, went down there to see this nigga and he ghosted on her ass three goddamn times. So look here, I need y'all to help me find this nigga, whoever the hell he is, because if I find him, I'm going to beat his ass for doing my homegirl like that. So... Call me when you get this doggone letter. It's your girl, Dominique. Holla, I'm out. So, Neve and Cammie end up FaceTiming Dominique, right? Call her up. Boom, boom, boom. 
boom, boom, boom. She answered the phone. She like, hey, girl, hey, what's good, Nisa? Hey, bitch, what's poppin'? It's me. It's my bitch, Cammy. We callin' because we got your letter, your snail mail and shit. Bitch, who the thunk it? We actually set up and read that shit. We finna throw that shit away. We was like, oh, bitch, this junk mail. <laughs> Don't nobody do this shit no more. But we opened it up. We read it. Boom, bitch, here we is. Where your girl? What's good? What we need to do, right? So she was like, look here. I need y'all to help me with my home girl, um, Danielle. She been talking to this nigga for the last six years. And she done flew out to see this nigga three different times. He done stood her ass up. I need y'all to do something about it for I do something about it. Because that's my nigga. And I don't need her to be doing like this. You know what I'm saying? She don't deserve this. That's my bitch and she good. And he said, okay, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Go ahead and call that bitch up. You can call her on the phone right now. So they end up calling Dominique. Um, not Dominique. Calling uh, Danielle. On three-way, on the FaceTime, she get on the phone, she like, oh, shit, bitch, who's this white boy? Oh, that's Cammy. Bitch, you really called him? Yep, I did it. You already know her name, dude. <laughs> it's your local catch a catfish, catching a bitch, catcher. What's good? It's Neve. I'm here to say good day. Bitch, what you need me to do? So, she was like, look here, I've been talking to this nigga BJ for the last six years. We met on IG or whatever. He owns a, diff a lot of different laundromat chains. He has his own security guard business. Like, Big Daddy doing it. Like, he popping out here or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He's getting his little change. Now, she said within that time that she had a lot going on. She had a real crazy medical scare that went on. And during this time, this whole six years, you know what I'm saying, she has talked with other guys. But something would always, whatever would happen with the guys when they would break up she would always end up going back to this nigga somehow end up talking with him so he was like look here I need to get some more information. Ain't no use to us sitting up here talking on the phone because you already know uh, we finna come down that ATL shot. It was good. Danielle was like, oh, you know what? How about I come up there to LA? Came and said, oh, bitch, you trying to get flued out. Bitch, I need you mad at your shit. Free trip on MTV. You know MTV bread is long. Okay, go ahead then, bitch. We go ahead and flew you out here. Get you a nice little Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? Call in the work. Let them know that you ain't going to be there tomorrow because bitch, you going to be in LA. Ah. So they end up getting her down there uh, or up there to L.A. or whatever. They sitting back, they talking, they chopping it up. So she's telling them that um, during the time of them being together, two years ago, she was at a house party. Party was lit. It was popping. Lo and behold, niggas came up in the party, start shooting the shit, start praying ra -da -da -da, all through the motherfucking party. She got, um, she got shot in the stomach in the shoulder, and I think she said in the collarbone. Scared shit out of her, got PTSD. She said BJ was there for her, helped to lift her spirits, and you know, just be there for her. So she really appreciates them. So that's why she just can't really let the little friendship or whatever go with him, right? So then Navy's like, okay, so what happened with video chat and what happened with you going to try to visit him? She said, you know, once again, she flew out there three different times. The first time she said, this nigga said he got called out to work. The second time he was supposed to come to Atlanta. She was back at home uh, originally before she moved to Atlanta, wherever that was. She was supposed to go to Atlanta as well. Got down there. Once again, the nigga ghosted, ain't said nothing. I can't remember what she said about third damn time, a bitch after that second time. Really after that first time. Nigga, I fly to see you. I'm not flying to see you no more after you done ghosted on my ass. And I damn sure can't video chat with you need to charge. She said you tried to video chat with him. The nigga said his phone was broke. Now, he's real active on, I believe she said IG, but he's not as active on Facebook. So, he was like, I don't know. Let me see your phone. You already know. I got to see this nigga, see what he working with, all of that. Let me see your phone. So Neve ends up looking through her phone, seeing that she's got a bunch of different pictures with him. They real active talk all the time through text messages, and right? Now, um... I forgot to let y'all know, there was a point of time when they had fell off and they weren't talking. And so the last two years, like right after she got shot, she had, you know, um, like they had reconnected or whatever. Now she had a number for him originally, but when they lost, got, lost contact, ended up getting back in contact, he had a brand new number that he gave her. I meant to tell y'all that. I left that part out. My goddamn bad. But she's showing pictures to Neve of, you know, different pictures that she has of him. One of the pictures he sees that he's with his security team right now. Mind you, he says he has a security guard, his own business. So Neve is like, okay, well, he seems like a pretty reputable, reputable dude. This is him with, you know, the, his teammates or his, you know, employees or whatever to his social, 
I'm finna say Social Security. Child, I've been drinking. I've been drinking. My bad. <laughs> his staff members to his security guard team. So Neve is like, all right, cool. This is pretty dope. Send me this picture. Every other thing that you got on him. New number, old number, all of that shit. Send it to me. You already know. I'm finna go off and do my inspect the gadget shit that I goddamn do. Shout out to Jay Lee's Corner for that. If y'all don't follow Jay Lee's Corner, that's my goddamn bitch right there. Follow her. But uh, shout out to her. She said, da -da 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 -da, inspect the gadget. That should be funny. But send me every goddamn thing that you got. We finna go through. We finna do all the little shit that we do. And we gonna holler back at you when we got what we got. Okay? All right, y'all. So, Neve and Cam is doing a little on investigation that they do. They end up searching his pictures first. Don't find nothing on his pictures, right? After that, they end up searching his Instagram. Going through there, they don't see a whole lot. They look and they see that he ends up having one friend that's on there that commented on his pictures. They end up sending the friend a message and they was like alright cool we gonna send homeboy a message you already know how he this is Neve we out here trying to catch a bitch catfishing bitches out here holla at me let me know what you get when you can get it right so he then um he remembers that she says he's not that active on Instagram he's only really active on Facebook but Neve is like mm, hold on let me check this shit out he ends up searching this nigga on goddamn Instagram. Lo and behold, the nigga pops up just like that. So he was like, she never thought to search for the motherfucker on Instagram? Fuck what he says? Lo and behold, pops up there his ass is, right? They search one phone number and they don't find nothing, but they end up searching. Uh, this is the old phone number. They don't find nothing on that, right? They search the new phone number that he has and it's registered to Bilal Gibbs. That is exactly what the nigga's name is. That was the information that Danielle had sent them about BJ. His name is Bilal Gibbs, where he's from, all this, that, and the other, right? So then he was like, okay, so the number is registered to the nigga. He got a whole Instagram page of him with his name, so it looked like it's him. So what the fuck is going on? Next thing you know, they end up getting um, a message from the dude that they actually sent the um the message to that was a friend of his, right? So Neve and Cammy are on the phone with the homeboy, right? Now this nigga was sketchy from the get-go. Neve is like, okay, so you know, I'm filming this episode of Catfish. I'm just trying to get some information to go back and let my homegirl Danielle know what's up. I need to know the number that I have for BJ. Can you verify it for me and let me know if that's his real number? Sketchy McSketch on the phone was like, why would I let you know that? Why would I give you this goddamn number? What the fuck you talking about? Neve is like, oh, woo. <laughs> Pump your brakes. I'm a killer too. What I'm saying is, can you just verify the number that I have is not his phone number? Sketchy McSketcher. Again, if you got a number, why don't you just damn call it? Why you calling me though? Neve said, <laughs> like I said, I ain't a killer, but don't push me. I just need you to verify that it's not the number. Yes or no, nigga. That's all I need from you. I ain't asking for the no number, ain't no telephone, no. I just need you to let me know, see or no. Do you comprende that, nigga? Look here, man. My boss calling. My bra aching. My back too tight. I got to hang up right now. Bye. Ain't gonna hang up the phone. Niggas like, y'all know what? <laughs> you bitches gonna get enough of hanging up on me in my goddamn face. I'll tell you what. I done said this before. I ain't a killer, but bitch, don't push me, goddammit. Don't you test me. So Neve was like, look here. Something about this whole shit don't seem goddamn right to me. I don't know what it is, but goddamn it, something don't seem right. Let's go ahead and go back and holler at Danielle. Let her know what we done found out. Because this something in my gut is telling me this shit ain't right. Cammy, Cammy say, bitch, I already know. Let's go ahead and roll out. <laughs> I don't know if we got to smoke a blunt on the way, but uh, this shit got me tripping because uh, homeboy pissed me off. They ride back over there to the house to see goddamn Danielle. They get a text message from some old random... It say, I know who Danielle is talking to. Call me. Neva can be like, bitch, what? Then who the fuck is this? Child, they end up calling the number back. Bitch, it's BJ. He was like, yeah. My homeboy said, y'all call me. Y'all looking for me. Y'all like, what's good? What's popping? Neva said, shit, nigga, you tell me. <laughs> I know you know Danielle. Don't say you don't know a nigga. You know her. She trying to look for your ass. See what the hell is going on, nigga. What's good? What's popping? Like, what's really going on? 
BJ gonna say, yeah, I know who she talking to. She ain't been talking to me, though. She talking to my brother. Nigga said, nigga, she talking to your brother. Nigga, stop lying. What you mean she talking to your brother? He said, yeah, now, nah, see, we on this family plan, and my brother got all my information. So what he did was he pretended to be me, and so he was talking to her. I ain't talked to her in over two years. But it's my brother. He ain't want to say nothing to y'all, though, but he confessed everything to me. Because, see, he married and he got kids and all of that shit. So he can't say nothing about it. But I'm just trying to clear my name, though, because I ain't had nothing to do with it on God. So, y'all you know I'm saying? It is what it is. Let me say, ah. Uh, okay, let me get this straight. So you said it ain't been you. It was you at first that was talking to her. But now it ain't been you for the last two years. It's been your brother talking to her. So, why your brother ain't said nothing? Like, wait a minute, nigga. Don't none of this shit make no goddamn sense to me. So, you ain't talked to her ever since she got shot. That's the last time you talked to her? BJ gonna say, oh, word, she got shot. Neem say, oh, my nigga, you didn't know that? Yeah, she got shot on some goddamn Tupac. Machiavelli 50 cent type shit. She got shot shot, nigga. You ain't know that? No, nah, I ain't know nothing about that shit. That's messed up. Then he was like, well, look here. Uh, Rama, I'm gonna need you to holler at your brother. Tell your brother to holler at me because we need to holler at him because he needs to holler at us. And uh, Rama, you mind if we hold on to your phone number so we can call you back in case we need to? Because, you know, nigga might have some questions. He say, oh, well, um, uh, I don't think my brother want to be involved. And I for damn sure don't want to be involved. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't got nothing to do with me, though. Oh, God. Ain't got nothing to do with me, though. I'm out. So you want to see her. And so nigga gonna have a phone. I'm like, wait a minute. Something, something down in my gut of guts was like, don't count this nigga out, Neve. Something about this nigga ain't right. So they go back to Danielle. They hit Danielle to the game, let her know. This nigga claim it was him that was talking to you at first, but afterwards, for the last two years, it's been his brother that's been talking to you the whole time. It ain't been him. Danielle say, uh, I ain't the brightest crown in the box, but nigga, I ain't fucking dumb. The voice ain't never changed. Don't you think the voice would change or the conversation would change or something that we talked about in the past? This nigga wouldn't remember. He know every goddamn thing and the voice didn't goddamn change. So I'm not stupid. Something ain't right. Nee said, oh yeah, bitch, I thought the same goddamn thing. Call this nigga. Y'all already know that. Call this nigga. They call, first they call BJ, the brother, leave this nigga a message. He don't answer the phone, right? So they text his ass. Then they try to call BJ, BJ back. This nigga don't answer the phone. Leave him a text message. Deep say, I don't know why these hoes is playing with me. <laughs> they don't know how I do this shit, nigga. I pull up on the grass at your mama house. I got GPS, SPCs, SPDs, all of this goddamn shit. I can find these hoes. Later on that evening, back at uh, Neve Hotel Room, he get a phone call. Neve was like, uh-huh, yeah, somebody <laughs> probably done put chirp chirp out and let you know, nigga. Don't fuck with me. BJ end up calling me back talking about, yeah, so uh, I hollered at my brother. And so uh, if you niggas going to flew us out to L.A. or wherever y'all is, you know what I'm saying, we'll go ahead and come down there and clear everything up because, you know, I just need to clear up my name, though. Oh, God. I need to clear up my name, though. And he was like, see, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. You know what I'm saying? MTV got long breath. That's what we do. We do what we do. So, yeah, we gonna hand flu you and your goddamn brother goddamn ass out. I'm gonna need you motherfuckers to be on the first thing smoking tomorrow morning so we can go ahead and clear this shit up. Cool, cool? All right, I'm gonna see you when I see you. Next morning, they call Danielle. Danielle already, hello? Bitch, I'm gonna need you to get up. Hmm. The motherfucker that called me, they on their way goddamn down here right now. Bitch, I already got the maps to where it's at. So get up, bitch, because it's about to go down. Danielle said, bitch, I woke up with my sneakers on, with my J's on, ready to rock, right? Neva came and get over there to the house. She said, bitch, fuck, we gonna have to go ahead and have the niggas come over here. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Child, goddamn Uber pull up. One nigga get out the car. Everybody looking like, okay, that's one nigga. Where the other one at? It's BJ. The real BJ. 
This nigga get out. Hey, what's up? How you doing? What's up? You know, word is born. It is what it is. You know, what's good? Nigga say, nigga, what's good? <laughs> what the fuck is your brother at? We here to meet his ass. He got something to say. Bitch ain't gonna say, oh, yeah, I try to talk to him. Nigga ain't even wanna come. He ain't wanna do it. Nigga say, no, man, no, man. Uh-uh. What you mean that nigga didn't want to come? You could have told us that was he at the room? He at the house house back in wherever the hell y'all is from, Bill? What the hell is you talking about? Man, I tried to talk him into it. He was too scared. He said he want to do it. He got a wife. He got kids and all that. And he said, but wait a minute. How he get your information, though? I don't understand that. Yeah, we on a family plan. So, you know what I'm saying? He had my phone. So, when he went to my phone, my family plan, it came up on the phone like, Bow. And so he got on my phone and then that's how it happened. Came like, right, but if y'all on a family plan now, he got his own phone though. How can he get in your shit though? Even if y'all on the same family plan, I don't get that. Explain that to me. Be like, yeah, because what happened is when you turn your phone off, you log back on, uh, it show everybody, th it's everything. So, and then you just click on it, and then, and then the stuff will pop up, and then, bye out there it is. I mean, the nigga was just two-stepping around every goddamn thing, stuttering and everything. Danielle, on the side like this. This nigga lie. He is a black-ass lie. Nigga, you fucking lying. You lying. You're lying and the motherfucking truth ain't in you, nigga. I know your voice. It's been you. So if you want to sit up here and lie, fuck you. And fuck four motherfuckers that look like you. I'm out. So she gets pissed off. She goes back up in the house. I don't goddamn blame her. Can't be saying, I'm not going to let my bitch go by myself. You want to bullshit? Neve, you going to stay out here with this nigga? You going to get the truth out of his goddamn ass? Because uh, he not going to do my bitch like that. Kimmy and Danielle go up in the house. They in there talking. Danielle said, this nigga think I was, nigga, I was born at night. Lot, not last night. He got me all the way fucked up. I know that's him. I know that goddamn voice. He ain't fooling me. He ain't fooling no goddamn body. Now, before she left, she was like, nigga, call your brother. Call your brother then. If that, uh, call your brother. He ain't gonna answer me, but he gonna answer you. Call your brother. He's like, nah, cause, uh, that nigga on the phone, no. And yeah, he, he don't want to be involved. That's what he kept saying, right? Cammy and uh, Danielle go inside, like I said. Neve talking to this nigga on the outside. So Neve is like, but this is what I don't get, though. Like, how she, how, how, how did he just go in it? Like, say, like, say I got a phone and you got a phone. We on the same family plan, right? But I got my phone up. You can't see what I got in my phone, but I paid a bill for both our phones, but I don't see what's in your phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. How that happen though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how the, how the fuck does that happen? Neve know this nigga lying. Finally, this nigga BJ gonna say, yeah, well, it's something else to it. Nigga say, it was me. Right as he's getting ready to say that though, Cammy and Danielle come walking back out because Danielle said, ah, this nigga got me fucked up. He finna have to call his motherfucking brother because I already know this nigga lying up in the bus. This nigga's goddamn lie because he got me fucked up. Soon as she go walk outside, that's when he was like, yeah, well, Laura, it's been me. My bad. Nigga was lying. I, I, what had happened was... When my homeboy called me, told me y'all was looking for me, I had panic. And so, I made it all up about my brother. So, yeah, I ain't know what to say. Everybody just like. Wait, 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 wait. So, you been talking to her for the whole six years? Yeah. So... You was talking to her first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you've been talking to her for the last two years too, right? Yeah, it was me, but I had panic when we had called. Nigga, what the fuck is you panicking for? What did you do? What did you panic? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so you got a brother that's married? Yeah, yeah. Cammy say, bitch, nigga, so you threw your brother under the bus like that? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. This nigga sitting up there looking like bro man from the fifth floor. You done sat up there. You could have got your whole brother's marriage fucked up. What if she was, I don't know, a crazy bitch like me? Show up on the grass at your mama house. And at this nigga house and he ain't had nothing to do with it. What kind of trifling ass shit is that? It's been this nigga the whole time. It's really him. His reason for lying is because he lied to her about owning the laundromat and living this extravagant lifestyle when really he's a regular schmegular degular dude that owns his own security business. What the hell is wrong with that? Nigga, you know how dumb you sound, Sam? Nigga, you know how stupid you sound? L listen, this nigga is single. Not a bad looking brother. No kids. I don't know about his criminal background. Nigga like he can bust windows with his elbows or something. That nigga look kind of powerful. Very gentlemanly-ish in the shoulders and shit. But, nigga, you got all your teeth in your mouth. You, you got somewhat good posture. You got you got potential about yourself. And you own your own business. But you lied about owning the string of laundry mats. If I was your mama, I'd lick my hand and pop your ass in the back of the goddamn head. That was stupid. Stupid as hell. Danielle, me, Cammy, they was all like, nigga, that was stupid. Why would you lie about that? Quite honestly, uh, <laughs> if you was to tell me, yeah, I, I own the stream of my laundry mats, what's the name of them? I'ma look them up. Cause nigga, that's I've read plenty of Triple Crown production, and I didn't see Breaking Bad, nigga. Use adult boy then is what I would have goddamn thought. I know, and don't nobody get mad at me for saying that. Oh well, I said it and I meant it. I know plenty of dope boys that own laundry mats. That's all I'm saying. Cha, so Danielle and him end up going in the house and trying to talk, and he was like, yeah, my bad, you know what I'm saying? But I, the feelings was real. I just lied about, lied about the laundromat shit and the traveling and living this and that and the other. I lied, but uh, I love you, though, and uh, I want to see if we can at least be friends. Danielle is like, nigga, why would you lie about... Like, I don't even live like that extravagantly, so why the fuck would you think that that even matters? Real bitches don't care about no shit like that. Like, are you serious? So, they, at the end, now that they're going to, you know, try to work on a friendship. Bitch, two months later, they check in with Danielle. She say, yeah, girl, check out. This nigga's a fuck boy. He done end up going back to his same goddamn ways, ghosting me, doing this, that, and the other child. I don't know where the hell he is, what the fuck he doing, and I don't give a damn. I ain't talk to that nigga. Child, I'm moving on from his goddamn ass. Cammy like, bitch, you do, you boo-boo. They check in with BJ ass. This thing was like, yeah, our chemistry was just off. You know what I'm saying? Nigga. Y'all know the episode right there. <laughs> if it was anything that I missed, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. All of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you and I sure enough appreciate you.